There's one um, resolution. Uh, it dates back to 1950. It's resolution 377. It's the only resolution that allows the General Assembly to overrule the Security Council. It's possible. If two-thirds of the General Assembly membership says, sorry, but what you're proposing is unacceptable to us, it's off the table. And this has been successfully practiced more than ten times, mostly in the Middle East. Example was when the French and the British uh, attacked Egypt over the Suez Canal. Uh, the Americans used that resolution to boycott and they succeeded in two-thirds of the General Assembly saying, sorry, you have no business to um, occupy the Suez Canal. And it was off, it was finished. Uh, when the same was tried in uh, 2003, uh, with regard to the Iraq conflict, um, the uh, secretary uh, uh, of the State Department, the foreign secretary or the foreign minister, Colin Powell, wrote a letter to all those governments in the General Assembly who, where he was sure that they would support this resolution. And the wording was, if you support this resolution 377, the United States of America considers this as an unfriendly act and it will have, it will have consequences. So this is political bribery. You again, and a lot of the conflicts we have been talking about, ultimately can be reduced to the rich-poor reality. The poor have less choice. The poor can only cooperate uh, mostly they will because there is some side benefit for that. Uh, and coming back one more time to the United Nations to show you that in decision making among member governments, poverty plays an immense role in, in, in ways people don't fully realize. I'll give you one concrete example with regard to Iraq. There were, I was told, 70 American diplomats dealing with Iraq. 70, 70. There was half a diplomat of Bangladesh. Bangladesh was in the Security Council, but half the time of one diplomat was available uh, to deal with Iraqi issues. So how can that half a diplomat <laughs> be a competent discussant when uh, the uh, military column of 70 diplomats rolls in, uh, there's very little chance uh, to win that battle, so you know, so uh, that is that is a reality which we we, we must also understand. Mm -hmm.